So if you are scared of radiation, horrified, you need to know the simplest truth of them all. That when it comes to radiation, it is already everywhere. Radiation is not the domain of mutants and mad scientists. It's natural. Remember the electromagnetic spectrum? Gamma is right there on the end, right next to x-rays and visible light. This is all ordinary radiation, produced by every star, supernova, or stellar explosion in the entire galaxy. This means you are receiving radiation dose by doing nothing so dangerous as simply standing under your own night sky. And you're not dead yet, are you? And that's just from above. Beneath you, you're staying on top of an entire planet. Its crust and ore deposits are filled with naturally occurring radioactive elements, such as thorium and, dare we say it, uranium. This means you are receiving another radiation dose by standing on your own solid ground. And you're still not dead. And we're glad, because it gets even worse than that. For if radiation is in the soil and crust of the very Earth, then it must be in even the very food that we eat and the air that we breathe. <laughs> Six more mutants were sighted in Arizona this morning. Do you still say this has nothing to do with the green radiation from space? If radiation is already everywhere, is that supposed to make us feel better or worse? Readouts indicate we are being bombarded with a field of high-intensity radiation. Shields up! We might feel better if we had any reason to believe that anything could protect us. But according to TV, nothing can. Nothing except fictional science. <laughs> or six feet of lead in a vault door. But what if that wasn't even true? Radiation is not supernatural magic. Anything made of matter can be blocked by matter. And alpha radiation is matter so large and ponderous it can be blocked by even the skin on your hand. Beta radiation is a little bit smaller and trickier, but it can be blocked by common household plastic. Only gamma radiation, the photon radiations, require lead. But lead makes radiation sound so much more dangerous, doesn't it? Television loves to drop these important sounding words so it itself can pretend to be important. Whereas the audience has found this very thrilling, it hasn't educated us in the slightest. But that's why we're here, because how fatal radiation really is, is the most important lesson of them all. Humans can't survive in that environment. Exposure to hyperonic radiation is fatal. Killing us has always been their favorite topic. High-level gamma radiation will kill them, Doctor. Which they irresponsibly repeat as often as they can. I repeat, highly radioactive. And with big scary words, it's always awfully scary. Contamination hazard to urban disposal? But fear-mongering aside, radiation can be quantified. And we definitely need to know. The term you may have heard most often is the RAD, radiation absorbed dose. Warning, radiation levels at 150 millirads per minute and rising. But to be more accurate is the term RIM, divided into the more convenient term millirim, which is how radiation is specifically applied towards humans. And examples of millirim are found inside the natural radioactive sources. Natural space radiation will deliver about 27 millirim per year. Radioactive ore in the crust and bedrock of the Earth will deliver about 28 millirem per year. Trace elements in our food and water is 39 millirem, and the air full of radioactive radon is 200 millirem per year. And this doesn't even include man-made radiation. 13 millirem from our coveted electronics and up to 300 from a year's worth of medical x-rays. So how terrified are we supposed to be? We're absorbing radiation every day of every year, and it's obviously not fatal. We're not sick, we're not burned, we're not dead. So who do we have to kill to find out what fatal radiation actually is? Fatal radiation exposure for humans in millirem is 450,000. Not in the 20s, not the hundreds, darn near half a million. 
The problem isn't that you've been absorbing radiation. The problem is no one ever told you how much you could. Give your healthy body some credit for surviving as long as it has. You can absorb it, you can take it. That's the most important thing television has never told you. For the incident did, the abuse is over. No more fear, no more cliché. They have always used our ignorance against us. But now we have fact to use against them. We don't need the fear any longer. I told you before, radiation can be explained simply. And there's nothing so simple as that. Knowledge is more important than life, Captain. We've only one excuse for existing. To think, to find out, to learn. We've fought our way into nature. We've split the atom. Yes, we... and that sure made the world happy. Didn't it? <laughs> Radiation has been a singular gift to science fiction, being simultaneously both the cause of and solution to every problem we've ever had. It's therefore expected that even after seven decades in the nuclear age, the general public's first response to radiation is still fear, panic, and intimidation. And you'll always lose more chances to learn to intimidation than you ever will to ignorance. Intimidation drowns you in fear before you have a chance to learn anything and it's all they're good for. This is only the beginning of radiation. There's a dozen more kinds, a hundred more big scary words. If you want to learn about all that, the best teacher is and always has been yourself. Not a stranger and certainly not them. They don't care what you learn and they, they don't know any better anyway. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. So do not let their error become your own. Don't let their terror become your own. Do not be intimidated. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Radiation owes nothing to B-movie ignorance. And you are immune to it all the instant you refuse to be intimidated. Learn for yourself and feed your brain. For if you do not feed your brain, they will most certainly eat it.